Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayesh Malayala. In this particular video, I am going to give you some insights about the partial admission fee. Many students are having doubts regarding this. So I just wanted to clear all those doubts in this particular video. So without taking much time, let's get into the video. So firstly, what are the dates to pay the partial admission fee? 19, 20, 21. These three days, uh, the JOSA has given uh, for all the students who got seed into only NIT plus system, NIT. Triple ID, GFTIs, IAESTs. Whoever got seat into these after six rounds of JOSA counseling, they have to pay like general OBC, EWS. All these categories should pay 40,000 in order to secure that particular seat on their name, even if they participate in CSAB or not. Okay. For SC, ST, PWD, for these three category students, whoever got allotted or whoever belongs to these three categories, they should pay 20,000 each. So, if you don't pay during this deadline, your seat will be cancelled. And if you participate in CSAB, if you get some seat, the previous money seat acceptance fee which you paid will transfer to that college. If you don't participate in CSAB, then in that case, they will deduct the processing fee and refund you the seat acceptance fee. Okay, fine. Now the thing is, few students are asking me a question. Uh, bro, we wanted to participate in CSAB. Do we need to pay partial admission fee? Like if you want to participate in CSAB, it's fine. Okay, fine. If you want to keep this admission as there, like uh, safely with your name, on your name. So for example, if you didn't pay partial admission fee, because of it, seat will be cancelled. You participated in CSAB, you didn't got any seat. So as you didn't pay partial admission fee here, your seat, JOSA seat is also lost. So if you want to keep this as a safety, then you have to pay partial admission fee before tomorrow, 21 October for sure. If you don't pay, your seat will be cancelled. So whoever is participating in CSAB, if you want the Joseph final round seat to be with you, you have to pay partial admission fee. So I hope you got a clarity on this particular matter. So again, once again, I'm saying one more thing, OBC, general EWS students, whoever belongs to these three categories, they have to pay 40,000 for tomorrow. That is October 21st. And SC, ST, PWD students, they have to pay 20,000 before tomorrow. That is October 21st. So this is about uh, the partial admission fee. Now where you have to pay? So if you see, I, I am here at the official website of JOSA 2022. Uh, here you have uh, this link called uh, pay partial admission fee PA of NID plus system only. Just click that. After clicking that, it will ask you for JE man's application number and password. Enter that and click on login. You will be taken to this particular page. So here, if you see on the left, there is one option called pay partial admission fee. Just click that. So after clicking that, it will show you. You can see you are required to pay an amount of 20,000. So this partial admission fee is different from CSAB registration fee. CSAB registration fee is different again, okay? Whoever pays seat acceptance fee and partial admission fee, they have to pay another 3000 which is non-refundable for participating in CSAB. So they have to pay before 5 p.m. of October 21st is the deadline. So just click on I agree and submit and pay fee. So after going here, you can use my suggestion for you guys would be use SBI only and you can use whatever you want like net banking card payments other payment modes UPI is there NFT is there RTGS is there so my suggestion would be go for uh, net banking if you have UPI should be the last preference uh, if you have cards debit cards or credit cards anyhow zero rupee charges so use that my suggestion for UPI would be last okay don't use UPI because there will be chance of sometimes getting struck the payment will be struck at one moment so don't use UPI that should be your last preference okay so if you once you complete the payment you will get the provisional admission take two two printouts keep one safely aside and keep one more with your certificate list uh, because as uh, you need to submit that particular uh, provisional admission letter when you go to the college uh, while physical reporting and document verification before you join the college okay so that's about the process so i hope you got a very good information out of this particular video if you find this as a time worth video you know right what you have to do do like share and subscribe to sai malayala and that's it for this video guys uh, see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind